Hello and welcome to the unit of study, Structural Mechanics. Now the objectives of this video is the explanation of loads and transfer of forces. And secondly, we're going to be explaining types of supports in a structure. So to begin with initially, what is the point of a structure? Obviously, it's to transfer loads down to the foundation effectively um, without any failure. So how, how do we transfer loads down step by step? We start off by having the floor area. Suppose this is our floor, okay? Um, when we have a floor, it's usually a force per area, right? So it's usually a force per area because if this is the area of the floor, we can uh, place different objects around the floor at different positions. So the way we calculate the force on the floor is actually a force per area. And the units for this force per area is kilonewton per meter squared, which is kilopascals, newton per meter squared, which is pascals, or newton per millimeter squared, which is megapascals. Now, it's extremely important to, under, to understand how to convert these and to remember your units efficiently and properly because um, if you make your units um, in, what do you call it, inconsistently, you can result in massive errors in your calculations. So make sure you know how to convert units properly. And the most common used one for a force per area is kilonewton per meter squared. Okay? So sitting below the floor area, we have the secondary beam or a joist, okay? And let's say we have this beam right here. So the beam is, you see the two supports, the triangle and the circle, and that's the beam. Now the floor area exerts a uniformly distributed load, which is this one over here. 